Hello. In this video, we'll be going over the DLA chooser and connecting to an EMP device. This will cover how to set up the DLA chooser and how to make physical connections to an EMP device. To get to the DLA chooser, we'll need to open Empower Connect. Locate the white lightning bolt icon on your desktop. If you do not see it here, you can find it in Start, EMP Tools, and Power Connect. If you still do not see it here, it is likely you do not have it installed on your computer. Please refer to our other videos on how to install Empower Connect. Once we open Empower Connect, we'll have a warning. This warning informs you that your actions can influence the behavior of the cooling system or component you are connected to. For example, if you connect to a cooling system on a vehicle that is running and command the fans to zero or off, the vehicle will not have cooling while you have it manually turned off and can overheat. So this warning urges you to be cautious while you're using the service tool. To move the, past this window, push accept. Now to open the DLA chooser, go to tools in the upper toolbar, go to data link adapter chooser, RP1210. Once you're here, you will be able to choose the data link adapter you want to use to interface with your component or system. So click on this drop down. This will show you all the data link adapters you have uh, drivers installed on your computers. I'm using the Nexic Technologies USB link. If you do not see your data link adapter on here, navigate to the manufacturer's website for your data link adapter and ensure that the drivers are installed. J1939 address for EMP tools. This is 0XFA and should be left at this address. Your baud rate is the frequency of your CAN network. I'll leave mine to auto, but this is going to be dependent on the RP1210 data link adapter you're using. So understand your tool. Some can only uh, go 250 hertz, some could go up to 500, and so on. Your CAN channel is going to be the CAN channel that the service tool is looking on for CAN traffic. By default, it's set to 1. If you know, for instance, your component is on CAN channel 2, you can make that selection here. The DLA info button will give you information about the firmware and drivers you have installed on your computer for that data link adapter you have connected. This is a good way to confirm that your drivers are up to date. The Help Me Choose button will attempt to look for the data link adapter you have plugged into the computer. This may be helpful if you don't know which data link, or data link adapter to pick from this list. Once you're done with making your selections, you can now connect to a system. When in a shop with multiple computers and DLAs, you may get an error when connecting. So if someone uses a different computer and data link adapter and you try to connect it again, this information or these settings is remembered for next time you use this computer. So if I'm using the same computer and grabbed a different data link adapter from last time, sometimes you'll have to come back in this window and select the correct data link adapter. Once we're done, push OK. Now that we have our data link adapter chooser set up, we now need to make the physical connection to the component or to the vehicle. So there's multiple ways to connect to a system. If you're connecting to a mini hybrid cooling system or a TMC system or any component that's on the CAN network, you need to use a data link adapter with RP1210 capabilities like a Nexic or an inline. You'll plug that into the vehicle's diagnostic port and connect that to your computer. If you're connecting to an individual component or a rooftop cooling system using a micro TMC, you have to use the EMP TTL EMP link converter, which will plug into this diagnostic port of the vehicle and into the computer or directly into the header of the controller on your component. To connect to these systems using Empower Connect will be covered in another video. If you have any other additional questions or need additional assistance, email us at service at emp-corp.com.